Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Grealish obviously came on and scored. Wilson got the assist. Mm. Did you see Grealish celebration? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's good, good homage to for Finn, cerebral Finn, right? palsy, his right? His sister had cerebral palsy and he met a young fan who had cerebral palsy and he did, asked him to do this as a celebration. He did it. Did it it would have been so easy though. You get caught up in the moment, you just forget to do yeah, it, right? Yeah. But it's I've always thought that about Jack Grealish. Kind hearted man. Always, I've always, Very kind hearted. Yeah, I compl- I completely agree. I think I think that he is an example actually of one of those one of those not necessarily only footballers, but you know celebrities as sort of stars. There's a Hollywood quality to Jack Grealish, I think. Yeah. And I think that in this country particularly we have a we have a desire to pull people down a rung. Gascoigne. Gaz is a good example. Yeah. I think we, we as a nation, though, we like to we okay. like to cut you down a bit. And, and I don't really get that with Grealish. I like him. Like, you know when, he, you know when he's drunk? When he's drunk and he's wearing the John Lennon <laughs> he sunglasses forget, he and he's being he's, gobby. Yeah. People love to have a pop at that. Whereas yeah. I just think, do you know what? Good luck to the fellow. Like, I think he forgets how famous he is sometimes. Yeah. yeah. He forgets it. He's, he's just a, normal, he's, he's a yeah. super humble, normal guy. Yeah. But it's just happened to be unbelievable at football. Exactly. Exactly. And also, I think that Jack Reilly scoring today, it bodes very well for England to have players yeah, like Rashford coming Rashford, on the scoring. Yeah. Grealish coming on the scoring. Wilson coming on and getting an assist. Yeah. It shows that when Southgate needs to make a change, you know, it's not like a it forced into a change. No, it's like, yeah, go on and bloody it's, score. It's squad confidence. Right? Yeah. Like, okay. It's great to have the 11 playing well, but when you need people to change a game, the, the other thing is, as well, it forces the players that start. You put like to, to, to Raheem well. Sterling, yeah. you better be playing yeah. well because he's he's ready. Yeah. Like to, to Harry Kane, you better be playing well because Wilson will come on and run the channel and yeah. create a yeah. goal for Grealish. It's Sa- good. Saying that, Kane did, <laughs> he did get two assists. Yeah. Mm. Not a shot on target though. <laughs> and no goal. Yeah. Two assists. Do you reckon he, do you reckon he in, a, in a 6-2 win, do you reckon he's coming off like, missed a really big opportunity here? Because yes. of that golden boot. If he's golden boot chasing, yeah. Of course, he has to be golden he boot. Golden he has to be golden boot chase. Of course yeah, he does. Yeah, but he'd, he'd also love a World Cup. I think if Harry Kane could go this entire tournament without scoring a goal, but win a World Cup, he'd absolutely take well, it. Well, yeah, I agree. But the, uh, if you're a striker and not going for the golden boot, what are you doing? Now, he, is, he, he, will, he will have wanted a goal, but I also think that he'll know that if he's, great if he's playing well, if the team are playing well, Two if assists. he's creating assists, the goals will go. Like, yeah, one thing sure. we know about Harry Kane, there's no, there is no debate to be had. Does he know where the back of the net is? Yeah. Like it, he's it, on it fine form this, yeah. this season. He, he's having one of the... He's having a wicked season. It's just Erling it's Haaland just blowing him out of water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would sooner see a performance like this from Kane where he offers creative link-up play. So he's, Take he's an example. part of the yeah. system. Then when his goal opportunities come around, you know he's going to take them. If he Rashford's offers both goal. sides of the coin, then he's... Yeah, very good goal. Rashford's Rashford. goal, the way Kane brings that down yeah. and brings him into yeah, play, yeah, that yeah. is... And do you know the other thing for somebody like Kane? He will... Look, it's all very well scoring today, but we scored six, right? So yeah. we didn't need him to score. Yeah. Let him get a 1-0 win against France. Let him yeah. just pop up with a, with a brilliant header in the 83rd minute when it's 0-0 against mm. France. Let him save it for that moment. Hmm. He'll, he'll score when needed. Mm. He's, he's that good. He's so that I don't good. think we should panic about him not getting on the score sheet. It's good that other players are because at least it shows throughout the squad that there's a level of, you know, self. If you're, if you're Southgate, would you change the team against USA? Or uh, I'd probably give, the, give Maguire. If Maguire's potentially can cut... Look, inj- it's, so, so take injuries out of it. I play the same team. Same team. Yeah. Don't change a yeah. winning yeah. formula. Yeah. I, th- I think that's. I think that's a pretty good policy, at the best of times. Because also, if things go well for us, we will end up in quite a luxurious position, which mm. would, could mean that by the time we go into our final game, we're top of the group anyway. Yep. Yeah. And then you can give. You know. Then you can rotate. Madison. Then you can give. I mean, I'd love to see that. I'm inclined to say that doesn't happen. Do you think but, the four three three that we decided to play with today is the one that we should stick to throughout the yeah, tournament? Yeah, but we won't. Yeah. Well, so it's 40, yeah, it's basically the same formation. 4 3 yeah. 4 3, three, four, three, four, three, three yeah. one. Yeah. Depends how We'll stick it, with that, won't we? We'll stick with that. I think we'll see five, I, at, five at the back. I think, I think the more important the games get, the more we'd shift to five at the back. But that's such a poor mentality. Yeah, it's but we're, we have a defensive manager. We, we have a defensive knows. manager. We yeah. have a defensive manager who isn't tactically astute. Like he's, and it's not a bad policy, by the way. It's one that can steer you in quite good stead. His policy is do not go out of a tournament. Yeah. And ultimately, if you don't go out of a tournament, you will win it. But the problem is you're not going for the juggler. You're not there to win it. Yeah. Mm. You're there to not lose it. And I think a good way of not losing is to have Eric Dyer, Harry Maguire, Carl Walker as a three in front of Pickford. Mm. 
with Rice and Bellingham, one of those being instructed, look after them because they're a little bit vulnerable. So yeah. make sure that you're aware of them. The thing is, with, when we come up against teams like France and Brazil, they are susceptible to losing games because they're so free-flowing and they're so attacking. Yeah. That if we went in with a 4-3-3, we actually have a better chance of winning that game rather than letting them play. I completely agree. But we won't do that. You, no, you, no. Are, you are so right. Yeah. And you know, if we had a manager that if we had a manager that was just a little bit more tactically astute, look, Mourinho, Mourinho in 05. If you, if you could take the Mourinho in 05, who for me is the best manager I've ever seen. It's, it's, I'm not suggesting that he's a better manager than Ferguson or anything like that. It's just but that particular that year. That particular year, I've just never seen anything like is it. Is that the 15 goals? It's the 15 goals. Cause yeah. see, like we scored goals for fun. We, we, we were just so good. You yeah. know, it was, it was teams were, teams were giving up against us. Teams yeah. were resting players to not bother because they had a winnable fixture next week. Yeah. If you could take the Mourinho from then into this team, we are, this in, if he were England manager of this squad, he would be going for the jugular every week. He yeah. would be you would be seeing him like attacking teams relentlessly. But Southgate's not as good as Mourinho 05, so he's got to do what he can do. Why why do you think that is though? Is that just is that a lack of faith in his defensive sort of I think a bit top heavy? I think he I think he's I think he's naturally a cautious man. I think he's naturally reserved, he's naturally conservative, and he I think he probably has to admit that he doesn't have the managerial acumen to look at an opposition and see a, see a weakness. Mm. Like, like Jose Mourinho used to do mad things. Like he'd make a substitution that shouldn't work. Like, I thought he'd bring on someone, you know, he'd bring on, he'd, he'd sub a sub. Joe Cole would be on the pitch. He'd sub him off. He'd only been on the pitch for 15 minutes. You win the game 2-0. Like, what? I was booing that substitution and we've won the game 2-0. Yeah. Mm. Whereas I feel like Southgate has to keep it as sure as possible, keep it as solid as possible, and then hope that our are world-class, dazzling talents. And when you've got, look, look, if England don't concede and we keep it sure at the back, we probably will win because mm. we've got players like, like Raheem Sterling and Harry Maguire and Jack Grealish and Phil Foden who can all score goals and win you a tournament on their own. So it's not a bad policy. 